Hey guys, what's going on? Blue Electrical here. Welcome back to another video. And if you guys see a change, a uh, change for the better in this video quality, um, well, that's because I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 to record this. I think the audio is going to be better. Uh, I think the video quality is going to be definitely better because I can definitely see a kind of pop in the video. It's it's definitely much better uh, than using my OnePlus 6T. But I kind of feel sad because this phone has supported me for a very long time. And, you know, this is one of the best phones. And, you know, now that I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 to review it and give my opinion on it, which that video is going to be coming out tomorrow, which I will be review, which I will be making a review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, using it for a few days, you know, my opinion, cool features, and uh, should you buy it, is it worth it? Um, so, the thing is, with this phone, I, I, I really, really like this phone. This, you know, I had a choice between an iPhone XR and a OnePlus 6T, and you know, OnePlus isn't a too, it's not too big of a company. Um, it's actually relatively small, but they are growing, and I think they're gonna be very, very big soon. Uh, but if you if you're like more into the tech world if you're more into the phone world and you know you explore uh, all the kinds of phones that are out there you know you're definitely gonna stumble across oneplus because oneplus is one of the biggest leaders so far in all in the mobile industry they have just released a new phone called the oneplus 7t this is the oneplus 60 i have a d brand skin on the back of it it looks really cool but now i'm getting a little bit bored of it i might uh, change that out um, okay, so, the, one, one of the reasons why I chose this is because of the specs. On paper, this thing is a beast. It has 12 gigabytes of RAM, no, it has 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, it's Snapdragon 835, latest and greatest, uh, processor in here. Uh, and the camera is like 48 megapixels, it's dual camera, you know, camera isn't really the biggest, uh, standpoint or the biggest feature of the of the OnePlus lines like no none of the OnePluses are actually too good with cameras because you know they're budget phones but the Samsung phones they just flex their camera so as you can see that's why there's such a big difference in this camera quality uh, I, I think it really does look nice and you know since I bought this to review with my own money I bought this I review I'm gonna review it and then I'm gonna send it back but I did have to pay for it uh, but speaking of that, for a thousand dollars, you know, it, it's, it's actually, I don't know, I think it's a little bit too much money because the only other feature that this phone has is probably the pen, and believe it or not, my phone is bigger than this phone, but well, honestly, the screen looks nicer. But obviously, it's not worth uh, $1,000, but it does look really nice, so... It looks nice, it feels nice, it's fast, it's snappy. Um, and then, you know, that really got me, that really got me hooked onto the phone. And I'm like, you know what, let's not send it back. You know what, I paid for it, let's just keep it. But then I'm like, do I really want to spend $1,000 on a new phone that I don't even need? Uh, like, my phone is in perfect shape, it runs fine, there's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, I, I get bored of phones. Uh, that's that's kind of spoiled, but I, I I get bored of phones. You know, have for a week, have for a month. Uh, I get bored. So even with this phone, if I buy the Note 10, you know, I'm gonna get bored of it eventually. But honestly, as a YouTuber and not having a camera, because okay, let me just address this right now, is that I have the money to buy a camera, but I'm not going to buy a camera because that's like a chain purchase. You gotta buy a lens. You have to buy um, you have to buy like a laptop or a computer or whatever to edit the videos in because you can't just transfer files uh, like that. I think you can transfer them to your phone, but I have, it's too complicated to use a camera. That's what I'm trying to say, especially now that phone cameras are getting so much better. Uh, you know, th this camera is better than most uh, than most cameras under or around the $500 budget. Let me just tell you that. If you want to buy a camera, it's it's got to be expensive. You can you don't get a cheap camera. Your phone is most likely better than a cheap camera. Uh, you know, here in 2019, phones are phone cameras are getting so good. Uh, like this one, you know, it's it's amazing. But obviously, this phone's expensive. But uh, some phones, like the OnePlus, in most phones, they're the cameras are just super good. 
Uh, most phone cameras shoot in 4K, but I'm not going to shoot in 4K because, um, you know, you got to have a 4K phone screen, which literally no phone has right now that, you know, you can easily buy and that's not going to cost a pretty penny. So, you know, there's no point of shooting in 4K unless you're watching on a TV. And recently I did get a 4K smart TV. I should have made a video about that. Be quiet. I should have made the video about, uh, about that, but I just, I just wasn't feeling it. I was too excited, so... I was like, let's just use, let's just use the TV right away. But you know, it took us another five hours to find the TV mount uh, because you know Samsung, Samsung has to make their own TV mount. You know, you gotta, you gotta get it more even complicated and buy a two hundred, three hundred dollar uh, TV mount. That's, it's crazy. So you know, I don't, <laughs> yeah, but that's why I don't know what I would really call this video. I guess it's my opinions. I don't know, like uh, a vlog. But I'm not moving anywhere, so I guess it's just a regular video. So here's my Note 10 box, as you guys can see. Um, and let me just read off the specs to you guys. Okay, 256 gigabytes. That's it. No, I'm serious. There is literally no other spec. Spec, is that right? If you guys want to read that. It says 256. <laughs> yeah, there are no other specs. Oh man, that's actually kind of funny. It doesn't say what processor it has. Nothing. Okay, it just says what's included. It says the uh, Note 10 S Pen, uh, wall charger, USB connector, stereo headset, quick start guide, terms and conditions. Okay, now since I am making this video about my opinions, uh, but this is not really opinion, this is a fact. I was I was watching uh, no I wasn't watching I was playing Asphalt 9 on this phone okay it's amazing it's fast the graphics look so good it's a big screen no bezel it's just great okay um and then you know obviously in the game that there's music and there's en engine sounds so when I was playing the game I decided to turn the volume up a little bit and I was like wow because the audio quality on this phone the speakers it's incredible like you guys have to experience it in real life to know like over the phone you cannot know because your phone speaker isn't the same as this speaker so even if I would record it it wouldn't sound the same you guys need to experience this phone you know I don't know go to your local Best Buy Costco I don't know somewhere where you can see the phone and then maybe actually get a little bit of time to experience it but the speakers are so good I think they vibrate through the screen because you can definitely feel that and there are two speakers there's one on the right bottom and there's one on the left top so it's it's amazing it's so good the audio is nice clean crisp and it's loud it's surround sound it's it makes you feel like there's audio from all over the place except the phone's just in front of you so that's that's really cool good job samsung for that but one major deal breaker of this phone and why I don't really like it. I mean, I, I love the phone, obviously. I want to keep it, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to make a poor financial decision. So, you know, I really like the phone, but even if I were to use my money and buy this, um, the big deal breaker is, you see, okay, so my phone, there's just the, what would you call it, the side of the phone, I guess, I don't know. But there's no edge. It's just one flat screen. And thank God to OnePlus, thank you so much OnePlus, for not making an edge because I hold my phone like this, like every other human. And I can't, I just can't tolerate the edge being there because I would be tapping three million other things. And while I'm watching something, I'd be holding it like this. You can't do that with this phone, with the, with the Note 10, right? Because I was watching Netflix and then I just, ha I'm just holding it like this. And I keep skipping, playing back at, I don't know, just keeps tapping random stuff. So, you know, you, you might want to consider that before buying a phone that has an edge in it. I'm sure that the new OnePlus uh, 7 Pro actually has an edge in that too. So, I think I might just stick with my phone. But, another deal breaker. So, I mean, the edge, you know, it's not the best. Uh, I think it is a pretty big deal. Uh, you know, because using a phone in your daily life, you know, you... It's a compromise, but if you want the good quality of this phone, you know, some people are willing to do the compromise. Anyways, another, uh, another deal breaker. Samsung just decided to do this. I don't know why, but 
Samsung has gotten rid of the headphone jack. Yeah, I can't be saying anything because my boy OnePlus has decided to get rid of the headphone jack. This was the first phone they made without a headphone jack, so it's kind of sad. And that's the first phone without a headphone jack that Samsung made. That's sad, too. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. And let's, let's quickly unbox this again. Uh, the reason why I didn't unbox the adapters in the other video, I don't know if anyone's going to be watching this um, far. Is anybody going to be watching till this mark? I don't know. But, so they do give you these AKG headphones. And the reason why I didn't, un like I said, the reason why I didn't unbox the adapters is because I don't want to take out and put back everything. But I know not to throw them away. So, so here's a USB Type-C to USB. That's, that's kind of cool. I guess that's how you would transfer the files from your uh, camera. I guess. I don't know. Let's try to open these AK. I don't really want to, but... Because I'm not the best at repackaging stuff. But, yeah, here are... <coughs> oh, terrible voice crack. So, here are your um, USB Type-C earbuds. And they actually sound really good from what I've heard. And plus, they're AKG. Uh, they're not just some random Sam Samsung uh, earbuds. So, you know, good job for that Samsung. That's actually pretty cool. But honestly, I think you get more. Uh, you get more for your dollar. You get, like your dollar goes a. I, I I forgot what it was. Like your dollar goes a further way. It goes a longer way if you buy something from Samsung rather than if you buy something from Apple. Not trying to hate because I have like the first or second ever iPod. Oh hey, there's me. There's the note ten. The first or I don't know what iPod this first, second, third, some, something like that. It's one of the earlier iPods. It doesn't even have a camera. And I have the first ever iPad mini. So, you know, I don't really hate Apple. I actually like Apple. I like the whole Apple ecosystem. I like the whole clean design of Apple and all that stuff, but the, it's just not worth it. It's like, their prices don't change, and they keep getting rid of features that are good, and they add random stuff that no one asked for, so... You know, I'm not trying to hate on Apple. You know, everyone, what, get get whatever phone you get. But honestly, to be wise, um, the thing is, let me actually tell you the truth. No one's going to buy a OnePlus because, you know, they're so, they're so, so I, I guess I wouldn't be self-conscious, but they're just kind of scared what other people are going to think of having, like, a no-name phone, basically. Like, nobody, no. People, I guarantee you that anyone in most schools, like anyone you ask that has an iPhone, they would not know what a OnePlus is. So, you know, that's why people buy Apple, because you know of the name brand and stuff. That's why people buy, let's say, like Nike or Under Armour or Gucci or whatever. It's all the same concept. But, you know, if you're going to be smart, get a phone that has more features and your dollar goes a longer way. Um, and, and then, like, one of the coolest features of this phone, it, it has this. Who, wait, who, who are these people? So, yeah, random people show up in my video for giveaways. Okay. See? And it just opens. What is, why? No. So, you know, fingerprint sensor in the screen. This was one of the first ever phones to have the fingerprint sensor in the screen. And this also has Face ID. Let me show you guys. Hello? Okay, I, I, can you guys see from that angle? Yeah, you can. There you go. I didn't touch my finger on that. Anything. I should show you probably higher up. There you go. So, you know, a multi-feature pack phone. So this was one of the first phones to have it. Then it was the Samsung Galaxy S10. Then it was the Note 10. And I think that's very nice. But the Note 10 can almost go unlock using the S Pen. I don't know. I guess I should have like a series where I should just sit down and talk. But I don't, I don't know what I should what I would call this. I wouldn't necessarily call this a podcast. I, what? I, what? 
what, guys, what would this be called? Please leave this down in the comment section below. I know most people aren't going to be watching till the end, but. Yeah, thanks for watching, I guess, if you guys made it this far. And I'll see you guys in the next video while I find out what to title this video.